bring in Fox News contributor and Fox News radio host Guy Benson to discuss. I'm just going to play two of the examples about deterrence that his own administration used. Watch here. The purpose of the sanctions has always been and continues to be deterrence. And yes, deterrence is part of our objective. If he goes further, we will go further. And you could go on and on. We could, that montage could go for a long time. What do you think it was like as a White House communications team watched the president yesterday say something that totally contradicted everything that they had been saying on sanctions up to now? Well, maybe they were wondering, is there a way for us to go back and destroy a lot of videotapes so no one has it anymore? Because the vice president said what she said, the White House press secretary said what she said, the secretary of state said what he said. Basically, every person speaking on behalf of this administration talked about sanctions through the prism of deterring Putin. And they were saying that it would deter Putin, the suite of sanctions. Of course, that didn't work out well didn't actually happen. And here's the president yesterday asserting mm -hmm. that he never said any such thing and that the sanctions were never meant to deter. And it's just incoherent. It is. I mean, you, you know, can say, look, we were good... hopeful that these things and these policies would achieve X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Uh, they didn't, but we still believe that they're going to achieve A, B, and C. And we're moving forward as a united front with NATO and so on and I so mean, forth. Sounds... You can pivot away from this. But what Biden chose to do, the president chose to do, was simply deny the reality that has been recorded over and over again about what his own team's talking point was, not years ago, weeks ago. Well, a decent follow-up question to him saying that they weren't supposed to deter is to say, well, then what were you doing to deter? What else was there? Right. But his comment was, not only were these sanctions not meant to deter, sanctions never deter. So, okay, then what, to your point, was the policy to that end? And I'm not sure he would have a great answer to that because it felt like he was flying by the seat of his pants on this answer, just like he was on the chemical weapons answer, where he said the United States would respond in kind, or NATO would respond in kind. If Russia used chemical weapons in Ukraine, what on earth does that mean? I think we right. need definite clarity on that as well. Uh, Guy, last night... Kevin McCarthy was on Jesse's show, Jesse Waters' prime time, and he was talking about President Biden's tendency to want to blame things on other people. Listen to this, and then you tell me if it's fair. He wants to blame every, everything else for his failed policies, be it the border, be it the gas prices by denying us a pipeline but allowing Putin. And now he's saying the sanctions weren't there, but because of those actions, he entered another country. Guy? Yeah, look, the president has an approval rating in the low 40s on average for a reason. And the American people are hearing the excuses. They're not buying the excuses. And the president will be held accountable in the midterm elections, and his party will likely lose quite a few seats to your previous discussion. Meanwhile, he's got people nipping at his heels from the left saying, oh, it's actually your fault. So he's, he's getting a lot of blame. A lot of that is fair, but he's caught in the middle, and he seems at times a bit bewildered. Well, everyone's going to have to turn in, tune in to you at 3 p.m. Uh, for radio, which is an amazing show. It's a really good show. Check him out. Guy Benson, thank you. Have a good weekend.